I'm going to start from complete scratch and try to get an online business to $1,000 per day in a single week from this exact bedroom. And we'll make a bed. If I don't get there by the end of seven days, I'll buzz my head bald, which I really don't want to do. Not sure if I can take the confidence hit right now. So the stakes are high. So what kind of online business will we be starting here? Well, if you guess the same kind that I've been talking about for the last three to four years on this channel, then you guessed right. Dropshipping. Dropshipping is where you find a product, usually on AliExpress for let's say $5. Build a website selling it for 20, market it, and then people buy that product from you for $20. You take the 20, send them the product for $5, and you keep the 15 as profit. Now, some people will tell you that it's dead. Oversaturated. But I'm here to tell you, now this might be a controversial statement, but selling products online is not a dying business <gasps> no, no amazon is dying what is saying no. there's no way brick he's and no. mortar brick and mortar however there's one big major thing that i want to introduce and that we're going to be doing differently this time around so in the past they made the most sense to advertise using facebook ads but as those grew more expensive more strict more regulated and just less effective why am i wearing this nft augmented reality cowboy hat because I don't know where I put my real one, but also because there's a new sheriff in town and an ad platform that frankly feels like the Wild West. Tick tock advertising. I know, sounds ridiculous. Advertising on the endless scroll of Doom app that only kids and this guy use. Shopping for a Rolls Royce with a $600 beanie. Yes, absolutely. Right now, it's kind of in like this perfect zone where the ad platform is new enough and there's not enough people using it for the ads to be overly expensive and have the same issues as Facebook ads. But it's just developed and advanced enough to where you can definitely get sales with it. Step one, find a product, nothing goofy, like some lion bracelet from 2015. So there's a lot that plays into what makes a good winning product, but for TikTok especially, it needs to have some sort of wow factor. And I personally mainly sell products that solve some sort of problem. It's just the easiest type of product to market. You don't need to be a creative genius to sell someone a product that fixes a problem that they already have. I was actually gonna run this up outside of YouTube because it's really a good product. It's unsaturated, but I just don't really have the mental capacity for another store right now. And I don't wanna do you guys dirty and blur it throughout the whole video. So I'm just gonna give it up. Take a guess, what does this do? Introducing the microcurrent device. Now we all obviously know that when you go to a skincare clinic or salon, there's a treatment you can get called the microcurrent. It sends electricity to your face and because our muscles are connected to the skin, you end up getting this face lifting effect. But you don't wanna spend thousands on microcurrent treatments every single week and your time is valuable. Driving in traffic to the salon, waiting in line, the waiting room, then you gotta wait for the skin doctor to do their thing. Then you have to drive back in traffic. I have a product that will let you do this all in the comfort of your very own home. Real jargon, I mean, come on, that's an easy no-brainer, swipe up, add to cart. All seriousness, these microcurrent devices sell for like three to $500 online, and we can get ours for around 15 to $20 shipped from AliExpress. So now that we have our product, let's build a store. Step two, build a website that doesn't look like an early 2000s infomercial scam. It basically needs to look like one of those woke infographics that people will put up on their IG stories after any major world event or social problem comes to light. Like actually on some no troll vibes, that's basically the aesthetic that you want to go for. At least for our product that's in the skincare beauty niche. What are we going to name our store? Skin Fion. What does it mean? I don't know. Well, it's it's kind of like contemporary, right? What, what does it mean to you? I could easily see skin fion on a billboard or in sephora so i ended up working on this website for a total of two sessions about two hours the first day and two to three on the second i was hoping to get this done all in one day given our time constraints so second day in we were already kind of falling behind and the possibility of a busca just absolutely started looming over me in an ominous manner this is my all new dropshipping store. And today I'm going to review it. I will first give you a tour of all of its quirks and features, and then I'll take it out on the road and give it a B-Treezy score. Doug DeMero reference. Anyways, here we are on the homepage of our store. The homepage actually doesn't even really matter because you're gonna be sending traffic to your product page. And most, I'd say like 98, 99% of people won't ever get out of the product page to explore the rest of your website. So let me actually show you the important part, which is our product page. Everything on here is pretty simple, but I think it looks 
looks kind of clean. We have a product description with some before and afters, some how to use type menus, and then a video of how the product actually works. And then scrolling all the way down, that's where I imported all of the reviews. Step three, create an advertisement that looks like it was made by someone over the age of 12. Okay, so it's day two, we're finished with the website, so it's time for the advertisement. And for that, I'm gonna be using a service that kind of scrapes the internet, scrapes AliExpress supplier videos, videos of the product online into one single video that we can use as an advertisement, and that costs 50 bucks. I ended up working on the advertisement for a bit on day two. Day three, I got the $50 ad I ordered, which here's how that looked like. <laughs> Edited some different scroll stoppers in the beginning, uploaded some different variations of it to our SkinFi on TikTok account, and we were pretty much ready to launch step four get your money up not your funny up run up some ads g it's now time to install the tiktok pixel on our website which is what will allow tiktok to gather data and optimize our advertisement so we'll install it by connecting our shopify account to our tiktok ads account okay so after i press this submit button our ad account will either go into pending which looks like this for like up to two whole days and if that happens we can't really do anything we'll just have to wait it out which is really gonna mess with our time constraint here or it could get approved right away and we can start running ads right now so let's see Let's go, we're approved from the get-go. With this rite of passage from TikTok, B. Treasy eagerly hopped on the platform, absolutely clapped out 10 different ad sets, and launched those suckers straight into the metaverse. Right, so same day here, I just got a notification from TikTok and our ads are not approved. And even worse, it's not like, a, oh, we don't like this or that about your ad, please fix. Product promoted on the ad slash landing page belongs to a prohibited industry of the targeted location in your ad. Which isn't true. You can sell makeup on TikTok in the US. So when I get home, I'm gonna have to submit this for a manual review, which can take up to around two days. Which means our new updated time frame here is after the review, they have to approve us. That'll bring us to day six, meaning the next day, day seven, we have to do a thousand dollars that day or bus cut. Our schedule couldn't be any tighter. They, they always say it takes two days for manual review and they're not lying. It usually takes exactly two days. Maybe they can get to ours a little quicker just this time somehow, but if not, it's a crazy tight schedule here. Day five, TikTok said... End of day six, we finally heard back from the talk, but I've been trying to get my circadian rhythm on lock, so I, I was asleep by the time they replied. Day seven here, and we didn't get approved. Joanna from TikTok says, we are basically selling a pharmaceutical product. I usually never have an issue where they're this off on why they won't approve an ad, but nonetheless, I did some pondering and I think they might be confused because I have the ingredients of the serum that is meant to be used with a microcurrent device on the product page here. So I'm gonna try to move that section away from our product page and then create some new ad sets and try to launch those. Cause I actually kind of get it from their perspective. If there's a bunch of pharma related ingredients listed on the product page, I can see how they might think that it's a pharmaceutical product. And sure enough, that was actually it. With this one swift move, our new ads got approved and started running. And on day seven at five o'clock in the afternoon, about 30 minutes after the ad started delivering and after about a hundred store visitors, we just got our first sale and it only took like 30 minutes of the store actually running and the ads delivering. Here, let me refresh it for you guys. 47.98, we got 124 store sessions and 26 live visitors right now. The ads keep running smooth for the end of the day. We still have five, six, seven hours for us to hit our goal. I don't know, are we about to hit a last second clutch move? I will admit the ads have been running a little sporadically, but it's 8.44 p.m. and we are at $275. But if you look at the last hour, we've seen a pretty major spike here. So I'm thinking maybe they're just now starting to get dialed in and optimized and we need $700 in sales. Three hours left, it's like $200 an hour. I mean, it's still possible. I still have some hope, okay? Little did B. Treasy know that this would be his last sale for the day. Shortly after filming this clip, TikTok paused all of his ads because, according to them, he was promoting medicine. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. okay. It's day number eight, which means seven days has passed and we didn't hit the goal yesterday. First off, I'm not giving up. Last night when TikTok paused all of our ads, 
I went back in and removed any and all sussy language from our website. So where it said stuff like serum, I replaced it with gel. Just anything that could possibly have a medical or pharmaceutical connotation, I replaced those words with synonyms. And then instead of waiting two days for a manual review, I changed the ending of our URL, our link to the product page, and then remade all of the ad sets, but now they were leading to this new product page. It's not new, I just changed the URL. And I guess sometime around 4 a.m. they got approved and probably started delivering around 6 a.m. because it's currently 12 o'clock and we are at $375 in sales. I think we got to the root of the problem and everything seems to be running smooth now, but it is day number eight. You know, realistically, if we count the days that I was actually working, we're only on like day five. Nah, I'm kidding. I made the stupid cocky little bet and I'd feel bad if I refilmed an intro where we didn't do the challenge or updated it to eight days. So let's do the buzz. 2.56 p.m. and we are at $835. So our first full day of actually running the store and it's looking like it might even be a $2,000 day. That's TikTok ads right now, it's crazy. Now, as you guys know, I do have a course that I launched about two years ago that was targeted at beginners. Before it focused on dropshipping through Facebook ads and Instagram theme pages, but given that as you guys saw, hands down, the easiest way to get into dropshipping right now has to be TikTok ads, I actually sat down and redid the whole thing from scratch just to update it and it'll now focus on TikTok. TikTok ads. But by the time you're watching this video, the whole course is completed, updated, and ready to go. So if anyone is interested in taking advantage of this new wave of TikTok dropshipping, it'll be linked below where you can find out more information about it, or you can go to beaheza.com and that'll redirect you there. Honestly, people saw results with the first version, and now with TikTok ads and just the fact that this new version is so much better, I mean, I I think we're going to see some ridiculous results coming from people enrolled in the course in the coming months. Like even on some non-salesy vibes, I 100% stand by this product. And just like that, we have our bittersweet victory here. It's currently 4.30 p.m. We spent a total of $330 on TikTok ads, and that brought in a total of 22 orders worth $1,019. I'll put up the exact math up on the screen, but I believe for this first full day of running, we're walking away with around $300 profit. Even if we don't account for the fact that we could start scaling the store and get to like $10,000 per day. Well, actually, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I haven't tested this product before. Maybe it wouldn't be profitable running at 10 grand per day, but I'm sure you can play around with some some new ad creatives and the pricing structure of the product and make something work. So in just seven days using a laptop and half of a phone, we built up a business that's on track to do six figures. And it's very likely that this could be a seven figure business. Even if you don't buy my course, you don't try TikTok dropshipping. I hope this video shows you how realistic it is to actually make money with an online business. It might take a few attempts and obstacles on the way, but you don't have to be a genius to succeed with it. You just kind of have to be persistent. Anyways, we were one day off, which means buzz cut. I couldn't get the clippers work in the bathroom so we're here in the laundry room <laughs> ah okay <laughs> Vsauce. Are you talking to me? Tell me why I'm looking like I'm on parole in about four, four to five states. Uh, <laughs> uh, yikes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. Now, a Morgan Freeman voiceover isn't cheap. So please subscribe.